Good evening, everyone. Another challenge faces an area family tonight in its public battle against drugs. New drug charges were filed today against the daughter of a state representative. 25-year-old Cassie Nigren, twice convicted of drug possession in Marinette County, appeared today in Brown County Court. And tonight, her father, Marinette Representative John Nigren, spoke with Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht about the fight to recover. She made this mistake. I'm not bailing her out. Uh, she needs to be responsible for her mistakes. She is an adult. State Representative John Nigren of Marinette has been down this road of drug addiction and arrest before with his daughter Cassie. Part of the last three, you know, of the last four years, she's probably spent about three of them in, in jail. The 25 year old was arrested Friday morning in Brown County. She faces two counts of narcotics possession and one count of illegal prescription possession. Obviously disappointed, um, sad, angry. Um, but not surprised because uh, you can see the signs. Nigren says his mother passed away last week Wednesday, but he says even before the death of Cassie's grandmother, his daughter started showing signs of relapsing. There had been issues before my, my mom passed away, but I mean that, that's possible. Uh, addicts uh, don't necessarily have the coping skills that you or I have, and because of that, uh, you know, things can, can trigger. After her release from prison, Cassie Nigren had been an advocate for sobriety. Her father drafted the Heroin Opiate Prevention and Education, or HOPE, bill. Governor Scott Walker signed those into law last April. I don't regret us going public and, and the bills that we pass. I think they're all good steps. Uh, I think the most important thing is people are talking more than, uh, than they ha had prior. Nigren says addiction doesn't come with a quick fix. And while he's disappointed, he says his daughter still has a chance to make things right. The good news is I guess there's still hope for her, but uh, this is just another uh, difficult hurdle that she's going to have to overcome. Nigren says he will continue to reach out to other families affected by addiction. Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. Cassie Nigren remains in jail tonight. Her attorney said it is too early to comment.